A friend asked me to meet a Sherby Kilo before the match and the available loadout where I could put it on was the number 8 with Shandy Gunsmith from the Championships, the Wounding Pack variant. And then the friend said that it is actually good. And so I've decided to try it out as well. And the only difference compared to my Gunsmith is the pack instead of the granulated grip tape. So your BSA is worse but the ADS movement is better. And the Wounding Pack itself, well, basically how it works, if you manage to damage an enemy to wound them, their health regeneration is simply stopped for, I believe, 10 seconds. And that basically means that if you just straight up kill them, then it doesn't do anything. But if you get do some hits and then the enemy hides somewhere, they simply do not regenerate their health, and so it, they are easier to kill for your teammates. Or even you, if we hide and you push them and just finish off. And with a good team it is a strong pack because you can, even if you lose a gunfight, the enemy becomes easier to kill for your teammates which have to be nearby. And with a bad team, if you are alone in some hot spot and you just wound enemy and die and there are no teammates to finish them off and it is quite useless. But all in all, it is a really strong setup and it makes the weapon faster ADS movement wise. So in the current meta game, I would say that you can use this variant. Or you can even try another pack. Like Disable, Slate of Hand, Wall Penetration 1. And it does make the gun more viable in the current setup. Because like it's faster and you also get some pack from the pack. And yeah, I have a separate video of the packs earlier uploaded. You can check it after this one and also a video with my gunsmith in this season. Both I will just showcase at the end of this video and now just enjoy the rest of the gameplay.